We begin in China, where large swathes of Henan province are underwater after being pummeled by torrential rain. Weather forecasters say it is the heaviest downpour in 1,000 years. At least 12 people were killed in the provincial capital of Zhangzhou, as hundreds were trapped in a flooded subway line. Many residents were left stranded in schools or at their workplace, with floodwaters turning city streets into roaring rivers. Authorities have evacuated more than 100,000 people to safe zones as China's military blasted a nearby dam to release floodwaters, threatening one of the country's most heavily populated provinces. And let's get more. We are joined by correspondent Matthias Bollinger, who is standing by for us in Beijing. Matthias, tell us, uh, you know, we, we've just been witnessing dramatic pictures there, rescue efforts underway, we understand, to free trapped subway passengers. What more can you tell us? Yeah, this is a bit pretty much what we've seen throughout the past 24 hours. Uh, people have been trapped in the subway. Uh, I have uh, read some witnesses have said that uh, buses started running because the uh, electric buses came on run in floods and that people went to the subway instead uh, where they were trapped by the flood. Um, so far, the authorities have said that uh, 12 people have died in downtown Zhengzhou. That does not include the people who might have died in the countryside. We will see probably the uh, death toll of this catastrophe, uh, of, of this calamity, much later. Um, there are um, uh, concerns that uh, a dam might break in another city near Zhengzhou in the same province, um, and uh, the rain is still coming down. We have seen as much rain as usually in one year in, in, this, in this region, so it is pretty much one of the worst uh, floods uh, within the last few years. China is hit by floods in the summertime regularly, but this is worse and, uh, than uh, most of uh, what we've seen in the past few years. And we're seeing how bad it is. I mean, you know, people being um, forced into these small boats, um, also on the subway line, you know, having to walk through those tunnels with, with very little light. Um, it really looks quite terrifying, Matthias. You, you mentioned that um, dam, which is upstream from Zhengzhou City. We understand authorities, and I'm quoting here, they say it could collapse at any time. Talk with us about the area, the number of residents that would be around there, and whether they might have time to evacuate. The dam is near another major uh, city in this uh, province. Luoyang is a 7 million uh, inhabitant city. Um, we have heard report warnings that the dam might collapse. There seems to have been a crack in that dam. Uh, this is, of course, this would, of course, be a calamity. It's uh, very, uh, uh, very hard to say now how, how big the area uh, would be that would be affected, but it could be very, very severe. Um, a, a, a similar, a major dam collapse has not happened in the in, in the past few years. The worst, probably, dam collapse that China has seen happened in the 1970s. At that time, 300,000 people are said to have died. Uh, China has 100,000 dams, almost 100,000 dams, and many of them are more than 40 years old, are not in a very good condition. So uh, this would really spell a disaster that, that uh, uh, we have not seen in the past year. Is it? DW correspondent Matthias Bollinger uh, following the situation on the ground. Sure. Matthias, we'll, we'll continue to check in with you over the next hours. Thanks for bringing us up to date.